Hey guys, Coach Adrees here from RunToTheBestYou.com and I'm here in Orlando and this is part two of our series running intermittent fasting and weight loss. And so if you're uh, taking up running for the fact of weight loss results, then here's some outdated information for people. You need to carb load. You, eat, eat, you need to eat a lot of carbs to give you that energy for the run. That's just simply not true. Um, today's society has been taught to eat five, six meals a day. And what that does is never allow you to really get all the benefits from running that you actually can achieve because of the high spikes in insulin and your, your blood glucose levels are constantly in motion. When you give your chance, your body a chance to digest and recover through intermittent fasting, you will see some great running results due to that. Okay, so just take for example, a person that is 300 pounds. If they start jogging or running for 30 minutes, they may burn four to 500 calories. But over time, as their body gets used to it, they will burn in that same 30 minute time, they may only burn 300 calories. So you need to either increase your um, intensity or increase the duration of your runs. But that secret potion is actually what we digest, what we eat. So you don't want to have this carb loading, oh, it's okay to eat a bagel before the run because you're just going to burn it off. Not true. So I hope this helps you. Now, what we're going to talk about is what intermittent fasting is, and that is the window in which you consume your nutrition for the day. Okay, so we'll talk about that in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up in the comments. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those as well. Have a good day, everybody. See you.